so loving. Our God is so caring. Our God is so kind. Our God is so great. Our God is so powerful. Our God is so marvelous. Our God is so wonderful. Our God is so glorious. Our God is so awesome. Lift up your voice and appreciate it. Every one of us can take it. Every one of us can take it. Every one of us can take it. Thank you for Monday. Thank you for Tuesday. Thank you for Wednesday. Thank you for Thursday. Thank you for another Friday. Another glorious weekend. Exalt his holy name. Oh, Marika Kate Gazanda Labosia. Zebra Gremoska, Marika Kate Gazanda Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we are praying. Modupe, Moria Anuba, Emidupe, Moria Anuba, Toriki Shekbuwe, Loria Anuba, Wamata, Modupe, Moria Anuba, Modupe. Moria Nuba, Tori Kishi, Can you 
you lift up your voice and say, Father, every shame, every shame, every reproach. Ah, my liba kasun tali mama. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus, most wonderful name, we have prayed. Now lift up your two hands and say, Father. Say, Father. Let your glory be revealed through me in riches, in wealth, and in prosperity. Let your glory be revealed through me and let the whole flesh see it. Let everyone around me let them see your glory in my life. Let them see your glory in my family. And you go ahead and touch it, Almighty God. Lord, reveal your glory to me. Ah, the glory of your riches, the glory of your wealth, the glory of your prosperity. Lord, reveal to me, O God. Let all flesh see it. Karama Santa Brande Kazantali. Hey, Mali Baba 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 Baba. Karaba Baba Kashete Lema Kasontali. In Jesus. My name, we are praying. Now, little those to him and say, Father, reveal the glory of your presence through me all the days of my life. Go ahead and touch the Almighty God. Let God reveal the glory of his presence through our lives. Through our lives. Is somebody praying at all? Lord, reveal your glory, <laughs> the glory of your presence. Brethren, God's presence come with his glory. <laughs> Let God reveal the glory of his presence through us. Masukalama kashentele. Palima mama kashentele mama. Thank you, mighty father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Now lift up your two hands and say, Father, reveal the glory of your power through me all the days of my life. Let all the flesh see it. Can you go ahead and touch the Almighty God? That it reveal the glory of your power through me. Hey, Kalima Kason Tamale. Boliba Santaba. Jima Lekete Gabolima Santalia. That it reveal the glory of your power. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Finally, lift up your two hands to heaven and say, Father, unto you I hand over this weekend. Whatever it will take, whatever it will cause, give me reason to laugh. Give me reason to rejoice. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and touch the Almighty God. That the Lord will give you a reason to rejoice this weekend. <laughs> A reason to laugh, Masukaba Yarabo Shantalia. Daddy, whatever it will take, whatever it will cause, give us reason to laugh. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus, most only by all. Thank you for you are our source, you are our sustainer, you are the pillar of our life. Thank you for not abandoning us. Thank you for not denying us. Thank you for not forsaking us. Thank you for perfecting our hair. Daddy, I set our time in the name of Jesus. Thank you for not allowing us to enter into the trap of our enemy. Thank you for not allowing the arrow of the wicked to penetrate us. Thank you for not allowing the bullet of the enemy to hit us. Thank you for not allowing enchantment, divination, and sorcery to prosper against us. Thank you for blessing the work of our hand. Thank you for prospering us on every side. Thank you, O oh God, for answer prayers. Daddy, I set our time in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, it is by your mercy we are not consumed. Therefore, O oh God, one more time today, one more time this weekend, Lord, do not take away your mercy from us in the name of Jesus. On every side, Daddy, show us your mercy. Show us compassion. Show us your kindness. In the name of Jesus. Daddy, your name is the King of glory. By your glory, terminate every shape in our life. In the name of Jesus. 
by your glory roll away every reproach in the life of every one of us in the name of Jesus. Daddy, through us, oh God, reveal your glory. By your riches, by your word, by prosperity, reveal your glory through us. By your presence, Lord, reveal your glory. By your power, Lord, reveal your glory. By your goodness upon our life, reveal your glory. And daddy, unto you we hand over this day and this awesome weekend. Lord, may he be full of pleasant surprises for every one of us in the name of Jesus. I set myself in pastoral agreement with every one of your children wherever they may be and as many of them that are here that whatever they desire this weekend Lord, call their joy to be full. Give them reason to rejoice. Give us reason to laugh. I decree this weekend you will not sorrow. You will not weep. You will not mourn. Any agenda of the enemy to make you weep we nullify and we cancel by the blood in the name of Jesus. Any evil in this weekend, it will never be your portion. It will not be the portion of any member of your family. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord will wash over you. The presence of God will abide with you. The Lord will bless the work of your hand. The Lord will prosper you on every side. Your prayers will not go into voice me. God will hear your cry and answer you speedily. Doors of favor we open unto you. Doors of opportunity we open unto you. Doors of breakthrough we open unto you. And for as many that are sick, door of healing we open. For as many that are apparently barren, ah, door of And jam your hands together and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. I say, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. I don't know who this fellow is. 
The Lord said, I have canceled your appointment with death. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Can I prophesy into your life? In that name that is above every other name. May you live to make great impact in your generation. In Jesus' name. I thought someone would say that amen loud and clear. Who does stand together for the Almighty God? Is that all you can do? Hallelujah. Amen and amen and amen. Let me sit as we conclude. I am with you to bless you this morning. Even though there is still a lot for us to say. But let us just stop here. Trusting God that one thing has been able to be established. That when you say, I am with you, God is telling us categorically that he is with us to deliver us. So anytime you are in one danger or the other, anytime you find yourself in situations that are inconveniencing, just know that God is with you. And as long as he's with you, he will always deliver you. And that's why I can prophesy to your life that you will never know untimely death. That's why I can prophesy to your life that whatever enemy are planning against you, they will not succeed. That's why I can prophesy for you that anyone that has prepared gallows for you, they will be hanged in their own gallows. Because the Lord is with you to deliver you in the name of Jesus. No matter how terrible the situation you are facing, God will deliver you. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. So Jeremiah 42, verse 11, remain our test. I love that Bible passage. Take note of it. Mark it in your Bible. Always remember it. He said, be not afraid of the king of Babylon, of whom ye are afraid. Be not afraid of him, said the Lord. Why? For I am with you to save you and to deliver you from his hand. Beloved, it will interest you to know this morning that when you talk about the king of Babylon, you are talking about the king of darkness. What do I call it? You are talking about what? The king of darkness. And so when God says, you should not be afraid of king of Babylon, God is telling you not to be afraid of kings of darkness. Powers of darkness. Sir, powers of darkness are tormentors. They are what? Tormentors. Powers of darkness are out there to cover you with darkness. Praise the Lord. It didn't start today. It did not start when? Even the Bible tells us in Genesis chapter 1, reading from verse 2 to 5, it said the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon what? The face of the deep. But thank God for God's presence that delivered the earth from darkness. The same God's presence will deliver you today from every forces of darkness that have been dominating your life. Darkness is night. Darkness is what? It's night. And a lot of things are associated with night and that's why my bible tells me that sorrow may endure till when huh so when you talk about night you are talking about sorrow when you are talking about darkness you are talking about sorrow but the bible says joy cometh when in the morning for morning represent light and if you read John chapter 1 verse 5 the Bible says and the light shineth in darkness 
and darkness comprehended it not. I have good news for somebody. Every power of darkness that has been disturbing your life, that has been troubling your life, ah, this hour, God will deliver you from their head. I mean, the God that you have come to meet will deliver you from their hand. If you are that fellow, say a louder amen. If God can say in John chapter 9 verse 5 that as long as I am in the war, hello, hello, <laughs> listen very carefully. Maybe we should read it together. Want to go? As long as I am in the war, I am the light of the war. As long as he's where? How about as long as he's with you? Oh, my wife got it. If God said, as long as I am in the war, I am what? The implication is that as long as the Lord is with you, what happened to you? He's your light. As long as God is with you, light is with you. And so, darkness can never cover you. Can I pray for you, sir? Listen to me. When you have understanding of the revelation of the word of God, this you are afraid of, you are not afraid of them any longer. And that's why I said, be not afraid of the king of Babylon, who you are afraid of. God is not aware that some of us are afraid of darkness. But I have good news for you. God is with you. And when God is with you, light is with you. For he says, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. As long as God is with Sunday, God is the light of Sunday. You didn't get that one. I said you didn't get that one. And listen to me. When light is with you, darkness must bow. Lift up your two hands and say, Father, Father. by your light. Oh my God, only one person is doing. Say, Father, by your light, bring to an end every works of darkness over my life, my home, my marriage, my children, my business, my finances, my ministry, my career, my academics, every works of darkness. Let that come to an end. Can you lift up your voice and talk to the Almighty God? Calebra Casanta Lima Mam. Oh, Mazeke Tele, Lele, 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 Mighty name, they will come to an end. Let me shock you. Be still one minute. Brethren, mark my word today. Whenever you have reason to weep, know that forces of darkness are at work. Hello? Hello? Because if there is anything associated with darkness, it is called weeping and sorrow. How do I know? Matthew 25, verse 30. Matthew 25, verse 30. He said, And cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Cast the unprofitable servant into where? Into darkness. There, there will be what? Weeping and gnashing of teeth. Meaning, any time, tears of sorrow, tears of weeping, tears of gnashing of teeth is happening to you. Know that darkness is at work. 
because associated with darkness is weeping and gnashing of teeth. If you don't believe me, go and ask widow of Nay. When forces of darkness struck and took the only son, <laughs> hello, she started doing what? Weeping, gnashing teeth, mourners surrounded her. Can I pray for only one person? In that name that is above every other name, every agenda of forces of darkness over your life, they will not succeed. For somebody that will say a louder amen, all the days of your life, you will not bury your children. I stand here this morning and I prophesy and I decree over your life, they will not open control and register in your family, in your home. If you are that fellow, say a louder amen. I stand upon the authority of heaven and I decree anyone that have dug pit for you, anyone that prepare a coffee for you, I command the fire of God to roll that coffee in the name of Jesus. You will not die before your time. Darkness will not succeed over you. Whatever they have planned so that you can weep, so that you can gnash it, ah, we cancel it now in the name of Jesus. Little Joe sent to heaven and cry loud and cry and say, Father, deliver me from forces of darkness and let me not weep. Let me not weep. Let me not sorrow. Can you pray for yourself? Can you pray for yourself that you will not weep, you will not mourn, you will not sorrow? Please pray, please pray, please pray. You don't know what the enemy are planning. You don't know where the enemy are planning. They will not tell you when they will come. They will just come and strike. Ah, Kaleba Kasatalia. Hey, Gelege, Gede, 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 Mansu Kapaya Gazantalia. O Kleboske, Galibra Eta Basitalia. Ye Keleba Boza, Maliga Zantali. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I thought someone would say a better amen. Can you stretch out your hands to the altar? Every activities of agents of darkness that have been concluded so that there will be weeping in your home, so that there will be weeping in your family. The word of God it is written. Who is it that speaking and it coming to pass? When the Lord God Almighty commanded it not, therefore it shall not stand. <laughs> therefore it shall not come to pass. Therefore, God will disappoint the crafty that they will not be able to perform their enterprise in the name of Jesus. King of Babylon will fail over your life. Be stay for a while. Talking about darkness. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6, Verse 12. Say, for we wrestle not against the flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the ruler of what? What did the Bible call Babylon? Eh? King what? King of what? Who is a king? Oh, clap for yourself. A king is a ruler. And here the Bible says, We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against power, against the rulers of darkness, of this world. Of what? This world. Against spiritual wickedness. In what? In high places. Brethren, do you know? That some of you, by now, if not for kingdom or darkness, you're supposed to have entered into your testimony. Hello? Do you know there are some of us, our prayers are already answered, but forces of darkness will not allow. Forces of darkness will not do what? Allow. If you read Daniel chapter 10, 
Verse 11. And the maker said to Daniel, He said, and He said unto me, O oh Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the word that I speak unto thee and stand upright. For, for unto thee I am now sent. And when he has spoken this word unto me, I stood trembling. Praise the Lord. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the fourth day that thou didst set thy heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy word we are hard, and I am come for and I'm come for thy word, for thy word. Verse 13. He said, but the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. Some people own is more than 365 days. <laughs> Hello? A whole year. Answer is not coming. Can I pray for you? Anything you have been asking for since the beginning of this year that you have not seen answer. In that name that is above every other name. Before this weekend be over, this answer will come. Monday will be dedicated for testimony. Because the forces of darkness, the prince of Persia, that have withheld your answer prayer, will let go. Only one person is saying amen. He said, We stood me and twenty we stood me one and twenty days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief priests, came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia, rulers of darkness. They called themselves kings, kings of this world, king of Esther, king of Lagos, king of Nigeria, king of Africa. They wash you, come to church. They wash you, pray. And they are telling themselves, you are going nowhere. Can you tell yourself, I am going somewhere? Power that say you are going nowhere, they will see you going somewhere. Stand on your feet. Your answer is coming. Do you know what it means to pray and get results? That is the greatest encouragement anybody can get. Why are we coming here if there are no tangible proofs? Is that know what? Sir, whatever you ask for today, by evening you should get it. I said it's not in accordance to the will of God. Whatever you ask for, for today, by tomorrow, testimony must come. But it has not been so because the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against who? Principalities and powers, rulers of darkness of this world that will not want you to receive answer prayer, that will not want your life to be better, that will not want you to have testimony. Do you still want to allow them? Lift up your two hands because there is good news. I am with you to do what? To deliver you. Let that thing be ringing in your head. I am with you to do what? If God is not with you, it's a different thing. But when he's with you, he's delivering you. And one of the things he must deliver is that king of darkness. Lift up your two hands and say, Father, Father. any power of darkness withholding my answer prayers till this moment Ara! Ara! Dispossess them and let my answer come now. At the order of Daniel. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Everything you have been praying for, God have answered. But forces, rulers of darkness of this world, they will not allow that answer to come. Ah, Maleka by Yalebosha. Nepalega Dagaga. Bregedebosque, tell him, Mama. Is somebody praying at all? Mazeke tell him, Mama, Kasantali. Oh, Masantali, Baba. Karagagagaga. Mashetelele. Oh, Masika, tell him, Mama. 
Oh, ma santali mama. Ah ah. Karabra garabos kata. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Brethren, there are two sets of people you will always find. Be seated. This is the last point I want to make, and we'll pray. I will be on our way. <laughs> Hello. How many set of people? I repeat, how many set of people? Only one person is responding. How many set of people? Who are this set of people? Because today are shiny, and those that are not shiny, where do you belong? Are you sure? Yes. It's possible you want to, but you are not yet there. So confess your sin now and let God forgive you. <laughs> let somebody shout hallelujah. Those that are shiny and those that are not shiny. Sir, those that are not shiny, they are dominated by darkness. Those that are shiny have been delivered from darkness. And that is why the solution is in Isaiah 60. Just read from verse 1, maybe to verse 3. And I want us to read it together and we rise up to pray. Maybe when you are reading, whatever he asks you to do, you do. Uh, because that was what mother of Jesus said to the disciple. Want to go? Arise! <laughs> Praise God. They say, all right, some are still sitting now. <laughs> Again, want to go? Shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Verse 2. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and God darkness the people. Listen, listen, listen. God darkness what? Meaning there are some people, whether they like it or not, Darkness is going to do all cover them for you. Say to fear one. Oh, let's start again from that uh, first line. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth. Listen to me, minister. God will be with you as far as the earth is concerned. No matter what we are praying, it is a settled matter. Darkness must cover the earth. The only thing is that you and I must not be among those that will be covered by for the Lord is with us to do all to deliver he is the light he said for behold darkness shall cover the earth and God darkness the people but the Lord shall arise we are God is distinguishing God is differentiating those to be covered by darkness and those that his light and glory will be upon that will shine. Go ahead. No, no, no. Let's conclude that verse. He says, God that made the people, but the Lord shall arise where? What will now happen? And his glory shall be seen upon me. His glory shall be seen where? After he must have delivered you, his glory shall be seen upon who? What will now happen? Verse 3. And the Gentile shall come to thy life, and the kings to the brightness of thy rising. <laughs> who is rising here today? I said, Who is rising? You will shine brighter and brighter. So, Sasoma, God is the only one that can deliver us from darkness that is in this world. There is darkness all over the earth. There is darkness all over the people. But he said, God, he singled somebody out. I mean, God single who out? Somebody. Who is that somebody? He said, for me, for me. He said, God shall arise upon me to deliver me. Are you ready for this prayer? I say, are you ready for this prayer? Little two cents. Say, Father. Oh my God. Say, Father. Say, Father. 
Say, Father, I want to see you in action. Over my life. Shine. 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 That I may shine. Shine upon me. That I may shine. Shine upon me. That my bright name may be revealed. Can you open your mouth and touch the Almighty God? Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We want to do something prophetic. Either to the left or to the right. You want to take a movement. And when you are taking that movement, you are carrying your bag. You are carrying your load. So carry your bag, carry your Bible, carry everything. And say, Father. Father. Say, Father. Father. I can't hear you loud and clear. Say, Father. Father. I move out of darkness into light. Where are you now? Oh my God. I say, Where are you now? Now, little those sent to heaven. From today, all the days of your life. Darkness will never cover you again. Rulers of darkness will never rule over your destiny. Rulers of darkness will not rule over your home. Rulers of darkness will not rule over your marriage. Rulers of darkness will not rule over your family. Rulers of darkness will not rule over your children. Rulers of darkness will not rule over your spouse. Rulers of darkness will not rule over your ministry. Rulers of darkness will not rule over your career. Rulers of darkness will not rule over your profession. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord has risen upon you. The glory of God is revealed upon you. You will shine. You will not be among the people covered by darkness. All the days of your life, you will shine. The Lord has delivered you from darkness. He has brought you into his marvelous light. You shall shine. You shall shine. You shall shine. Your glory shall be revealed in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. The name of God, Father. God, the Son. God, the Holy Spirit. Lift up your offering and say, Father, I will shine in prosperity. All the days of my life. Go ahead and talk to the Almighty God. That you will shine in prosperity all the days of your life. Thank you, mighty Father. And so shall it be. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Congratulations. I will hear your testimony. Prepare your testimony when you are coming on Monday. The topic for Monday is filled with the Holy Ghost. What did I say? Filled. Filled. F I double L E D filled with the Holy Ghost, and I know what that means in somebody's life. You yourself, you will testify. So, come with your anointing oil as usual. We're going to be praying on it, and then God is about to fill somebody with His power of Holy Ghost, which is an evidence that God is with you. I pray for you. That your testimony will be heard. Let us not forget that we'll be having our online vigil tonight. The timing is 11 o'clock. The link will be sent through the Zoom platform. If you are not in any of the platform of the church, you better get yourself registered and then hook up, buy data. With 200 data, 200 naira, 
you'll be able to participate in the VG just two hours, 11 to 1 o'clock. And as you do so, God will honor and bless you in Jesus' name. And also, by the special grace of God, Sunday promise to be awesome. Invite your friends, invite your neighbors, and don't forget to participate in evangelism on Saturday. And for the men in the house, don't forget your conference that is taking place Saturday morning by 9 o'clock. I believe by now you must have registered and you must have gotten the link. God bless you all. The grace.